One more time. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior.
it's always hunger for oh. come on one more time with confidence that you have in Christ you are the word you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace oh, hearts always hunger I want you to sing it one more time there's somebody who needs hope come on now for you for what he has done he is bringing healing to our families he is restoring us the psalmist says for thou O God are a shield for me my glory and the lifter on my head oh yes you can choose to say like the psalmist when the enemy came in when the enemy came in when the enemy came in the spirit of the Lord has raised a standard for you Oh yes, come on, go ahead and give the Lord praise for what he has done and even on what you anticipate him to do. Oh yes, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for the opportunity to come. You say that your mercy seat is open for us to come and receive grace and mercy to help us in our time of need. And so we come. We come, Lord, as we are. We come desperate for you, Jesus. We come that you may heal our hearts. We come that you may restore us. We come that you make us clean. We come that you wash us and cleanse us. We come that you give us a second chance. You say as a father has compassion on his children, so you have compassion on us. And so as we come, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the privilege we thank you for the privilege to be called the children of the Most High God. Oh, we thank you for giving us the name children because you are our heavenly Father. And we thank you because there is nothing, nothing that you will hinder on our behalf because we are legitimately your children, dear Lord. So here we are. We ask that you may have your way, Lord. We ask that you may have your way. Father, even where our backs are against the wall, you are faithful to make a way, oh God. Father, where we have come to the end of ourselves, oh God, you are faithful to start anew with us, oh God. Father, where man has looked at us and felt that we are not worthy, you are able to write a new script concerning our lives, oh God. And so we thank you, Jehovah. We thank you for the healing that is flowing in this place. We thank you, 
Jehovah because you are the balm in Gilead. You are soothing every of our pain and every of our sorrows and every of our wounds and healing us and restoring us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you that you're in this place, dear Lord. We ask that you may, li you may lift every burden. We ask that you may lift every weight, oh God. We look up to you, Jehovah. We thank you because you are Jehovah Nisi. The banner of the Lord is lifted on high. Oh, Rika Maka Shonto, Rika Raroboko. before you, God. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you that you're in this place, Lord. Take preeminence. Take preeminence, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Lord. Father, we continue to pray that you provide comfort for Deacon Ketul, whose father is unwell. May you send your word, O oh God, and heal this disease in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the balm in Gilead. We thank you that you are present in the name of Jesus. We pray for our pastor, Ian, whose uncle has rested. We ask for your comfort for your pastor, the name of Jesus. And Father, we are praying for the physical rain we praying for the spiritual rain. We praying, dear Lord, oh God, there will be such a move of the spirit. You will come and heal our land, oh God. You have said if people who are called by your name come and pray and seek your face, you will hear from heaven and you will heal their land. That is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Won't you heal our land? Won't you heal our emotions? Won't you heal, oh God, our marriages? Won't you heal our relationship, oh God? Won't you heal our children, dear Lord? Won't you move in this service? And we thank you that your presence is in this place. And we anticipate, we anticipate what you're going to do. We give you praise. And we give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Now that is for a mere man. Give it up for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen, amen. Amen. We appreciate these wonderful people as you sit in the presence of the Lord. Sometimes we may do the service differently because we are led of the Spirit and we believe that the Spirit of God is in this place. And it is also important to linger in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Good afternoon, Sitam Karen. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord again. Amen. Indeed, it's a good day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. I want to take this opportunity and welcome those people that are visiting Sitam Karen for the first time. Are you here? You're a first timer. You've never been to Sitam Karen. We just want to appreciate you. Just raise your hand. We want to see you and appreciate that you're here. I'm looking. Yes, I see you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Kindly be upstanding. We just want to appreciate you and acknowledge you. Better be upstanding if you are a first time visitor. Oh, yes, we have visitors. Thank you. In Sitam Karen, we say that you are our VIP. At the end of the service, just come here. The protocol team will be there to welcome you and tell you more about our church. We meet here every Sunday, 9 o'clock and at 11.30 for our Sunday services. And if you choose to make Sitam Karen your home church, what we tell them, Sitam Karen? That your search for a church has come to an end. But just in case you're passing by, you can pass our regards to your home church. Let's appreciate them once more. Man, very quickly, I'm going to ask the media team to roll out the announcement, and the ushers can wait on us, on our tithes, and our offering, the mobile money is 933-941. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to Sitam Karen, where Christ is the answer. Thank you for choosing to fellowship with us on the last Sunday of October. Worship and giving via checks to Sitam Karen. Our MPSA pay bill number is 933-941 and for card users, PDQ machines are available. There are also late offering boxes outside each and every church exit door. You can also pay your tithe via the church office every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'd like to invite you to worship with us during our service times. Every Sunday we have an early bird prayer service that runs from 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Our first service runs from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And our second service runs from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Every Wednesday, we also have an early morning prayer service that runs from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. This happens via Zoom, and please note that the Zoom link is recurring. We also have a midweek prayer service every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. All are welcome. Dear parents, the Safari Junior has been going on. If you have not purchased a manual for your children, kindly do so at the front entrance. All Class 8 parents are notified that the Hope Scamp will be from the 5th to the 10th of December. The cost will be 10,000 shillings per child and the deadline will be the 20th of November 2022. Kindly note, for those who pay after the 20th of November, you will be required to pay 15,500 per child to participate. You can pay to pay bill number 933-941 and the account name is your child's name hyphen hopes. The Sitam Karen Youth Ministry would like to present to you the annual high schoolers camp. This will take place in Mount Kenya Academy in Nyeri. And the cost will be 7,500 per teenager. And this will include food, accommodation, transport, and camp activities. The pay bill number is 933-941 and the account name is Teens Camp. The theme of the camp will be Vessels of Glory and this comes from Romans 12 verse 1 to 2. And this will happen from the 13th to the 17th of December this year and activities will include reflections, Bible studies, counseling, revival meetings, swimming, hiking, team buildings and so much more. Can't wait to see you there. The Sitam Karen Youth Ministry would also like to invite you for an afternoon youth rally on Sunday the 13th of November in line with the 25 year celebration. There'll be great worship, performances, dances and the word led by the youth ministry. The theme of the rally is 
there's still more land to conquer. And this comes from Joshua 13 verse 1. You can register as an individual, institution, or group performance at the information desk. Are you a parent? Are you interested in learning with how to deal with emerging issues in parenting, teens, and young adults? Then you're invited for a seminar whose topic will be emerging issues in parenting, teens, and young adults, Gen Z, and millennials. This will involve a panel discussion featuring Professor Abraham Waidema of Desa University, Dr. Charity Waidema of USIU, Dr. Wahome Ngare, a gynecologist and renowned speaker of matters to do with the LGBTQI and the youth, and Mrs. Magdalene Kowach of the Kenya High School. This will happen on Saturday, the 12th of November from 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the Youth Dome. Entry is free and for registration, you can WhatsApp 0709-861-300 or register at the information desk. And now to some exciting news. This November, we shall be celebrating our silver anniversary as Sitam Karen. To mark this milestone, we shall do 30 years of evangelism and outreach around the Karangata community. The theme is, there is yet more land to be conquered. And this is in line with Joshua 13 verse 1. Our target is to reach 100,000 people and our clarion call will be, tell someone about Jesus, invite someone to church. Reach out to the universities, schools, estates, shopping malls and police stations around us. In line with this outreach, we shall have free medical camp at Gataka. Therefore, we call on all personnel to volunteer their services on Saturday, the 26th of November. Hope to see you there. The SITAM joint monthly prayers will be held at SITAM Valley Road on Sunday, the 6th of November from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. for all assemblies within Nairobi. If you'd like to participate in this, kindly register at the information desk for more information as well as helping us with logistics. The Women's Ministry would like to invite all ladies above the age of 18 years to the Southern Region Joint Fellowship on Saturday the 19th of November. This will be from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and the topic will be revived to ready eight. The speaker will be Reverend Charles Obara, the original overseer of the Southern Region, and this will take place at Sitam Gong. For all these announcements and much more, please visit our website www.karen.sitam.org. And from the entire media team, have a blessed week. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating the media team. Uh, some emphasis here as I call Pastor Steve to come. Um, we want to let you know that uh, we are very intentional about reaching out as we celebrate our 25 years of anniversary. So we will be very intentional in our reaching out. We'll be going to Catholic University for Heaven's Gates and Hell's Frame on the 10th of November, the Multimedia University on the 11th, the NHC. Please note on the 12th of November, we'll be at the NHC. We'll have our truck there on the ground and we'll be showing up the Jesus film it starts at 6 p.m. We also go to the Cooperative University on the 24th and Gataka on the 25th and on the 26th. We appreciate all the doctors that have signed up and those that the Lord has used among us to bless us even with the drugs for the free medical camp. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Terry. Today is um, the 30th of uh, October and uh, we are going to be taking in some uh, children. We are going to be taking in some other children to join us because past, as Pastor Josephine says, God has many children. And so we are taking in members today uh, after completion of the whole process of membership, which starts with uh, class 101 and then interviews and all that. And uh, the following people have qualified. And so when we call your name, we would like to ask you to come here quickly. Uh, these names have been posted on the notice board. And uh, if you had any issue with them, you would have raised it by now. So as they say, forever hold your peace. <laughs> All right, we're going to call the following people. You will come and line up here um, as quickly as possible. 
Abigail Alice Magina. John Pudus. Alice Chip Chepkemoi Ngeno. Jonah Kipgengei Ayembei. Alice Kori Ka Karoki Muirigi. Josephine Adoyo Olwal. Amos Songoi Wafula. Joyce Olivia Okoth. Anne Nasimiu Munialo. Julius Otieno Ogalo. Alanda Achola Ojuka. Juliet Athiambo Wangukwa. Beatrice Njeri Karanja. Kenneth Kipkemei Kigen. Bonso Bosire Avani. Kiyoko Mutua. Ben, uh, Betty Kanana Mwebia. Lynn Gather Kinywa. Blair Kiprotich Mutai. Mark Emmanuel Bita. Brian Clendon Kinuthia. Maureen Akinyi Magambo. Brian Njehia Njeri. Melba Katindi Kasivo. Calvin Omari Mwengerere. Mwengerere. Miriam Nyambura Gishohi. Charles Waguka Wangombe. Moses Ngarika Mungai. Christine Munasie Mwololo. Noha Msalia. Cynthia Amai Ikamari. Paul Ondoto Nyongeza. Derek Wanjara Vihenda. Murithi Peter Weru. Diana Waithera Njeri. Pauline Kanyita Otieno. Diana Ruth Ahono. Quinta Immaculate Okoth. Dorothy Audrin Timona. Rose Jane Nyambura. Emily Muhae Njalale. Rose Wangeshi Maina. Eric Savali Muasia. Roy Kipruto Ngetich. Esther Mwikali Alex. Ruth Chepchumba Kilimo. Yudia Waithera Karanja. Ruth Mase Masenga Mulatia. Faith Mkhoi Mukanga. Samuel Gikela. Faith Wamboi Kimani. Samuel Oscar Ondero Otieno. Florence Mutenge Mudeka Madeka. Sarah Mudoni Songoi. Frank Kennedy Onjor. Scholastica Chemboi. Harun Otieno Ondoche. Sharin Siombua. Husna Chepchirchir. Shira Nduko Ojor. Imali Ngusale. Sharin Grace Kwambuka. Irene Chepkemoi Koet. Stace Jelangat Sang. Jacqueline Mudoni Maina. Stephen Ektela. Jean Mweni Kithuka. Stephen Biko Owol. Janet Anyango Ondeka, Odeka. Sylvia Chepto Mutai. Janet Mumbua Mutiso. Sylvia Wanjiro Ndungo. Japheth Otieno Ogutu. Veronica Nduku Kingo. Victoria Mutheu Mutunga. Violet Wanjiko Njao. Viviat, uh, Vivian Wanjiro Muchira. Ololuza Esmond Leyan. Rae Kiyoko uh, Waita. Osborne Wambua Nyamai. Zaitun Maloba Munyedo. Osunga Don Miller. Zipora uh, Engineer Nambwa. Rachel Kerubo. Sara Welova Ombaso. Safari Subira Bura. Okuna Gift Fili. Vincent Mbiu. Zipora Mora Mukua. Lilian Osundwa. Or, uh, Aurela Nakungu Emomeri. Muharuku Ivy Terry. Biwot Jared Kiprotich. Aurelia Emo. Brother Tony Mola. Ogasi John. Chance Uhuru Omori. Consolata Naliaka Mucholi. Clement Obure Odeka. Jeremy Blessing Osonje. Shege Visca Nyambura. Edith Waringa Ndungu. Hither Cherono Mutai. Cheboy Solastika Jeptun. Irene Wanjiko Maina. Uh, Karua Jacinta Njeri. Karua Lilian, o, Lilian Atieno Obura, Obure. 
Mothe Julia Wanjiro Ngahu. Nyambare Evelyn. Nekesa Ruth. Elizabeth Sanagoi. Thank you. Um, I would like all of you that are here to answer these questions. Um, if your answer to these questions is no, you just take two steps ahead. Sawa sawa. Uh, please face me. So you're going to make the steps backward instead of forward. Thank you, thank you. Yes, face me as you answer these questions. Do you wish to be received into the membership of CITAM Karen? Do you agree with the doctrines of CITAM? Do you pledge that with the help of God, you will support this church by your prayers, your tithes and offerings, and by regularly attending the church services and meetings? All right, thank you. If there is anyone who answers no, please take some steps backward. And I would like now to invite Reverend Josephine, our Deputy Senior Pastor, to pray for you um, and to receive you into membership. Thank you so much, Sitam Karen. Those are our members of Christ is the Answer Ministries Church family. We are receiving many more brothers and sisters today, and we want to celebrate them. Can we give them a hand clap and tell them, Welcome to the church? Welcome to Sitam Karen. We are so, so grateful to God that he has saved you. That is the first step of belonging to the church and you have accepted to go through the waters of baptism. You came for the interviews and we checked with you that your doctrine is fine. That's why he was telling you if you do not believe it, if you change your mind, do what? Step aside. And I didn't see any one of you uh, do that. Thank you. So I want uh, to just ask that we stand, those that are members and those who have not yet are at the veggies with us, to kindly stand so that we receive these members. Uh, first of all, by asking God to help each one of them be faithful. So let us pray together. You can open your mouth and let's just call upon God and ask that the Lord God will help each one of them to follow what they have committed them to do. Father, in the name that is above every name, we thank you so much, even for these sons and daughters that you have brought to the family of Christ, this is the answer ministries, and at Sitam current campus. We thank you that you have accepted to become part of the church family. We thank you that you have helped them to give themselves to live with accountability in the church. And we thank you because you have helped them to also plan to live by your purpose, Jehovah. And that they will live by the membership of Christ is the, answers, uh, is the answer ministry's requirements. That are for, uh, as born again Christians, you will help them to nurture and to grow in the faith. You will help them to give themselves to discipleship. Master, you will help them to remain Remain faithful even as we grow together in the body of Christ and that our fathers they have begun and have expressed even intention of worshiping with us at Sitam Karen our Lord we pray that they will be faithful witnesses even of the faith that we have received in Christ Jesus that they will stand for you and that they will walk with the integrity of a believer and that their commitment to you shall be not because anyone sees them but because they have given themselves to you and so our father we commit them to you that Lord as they live as members of Christ is the answer ministries they will remember that indeed the true membership is to the universal church of Jesus Christ and and as children of God, the membership we wait for is when the, all the uh, uh, believers and the saints will be gathered before your throne of grace. When you will judge the living, when you will separate the gods from the sheep, that our Father 
these ones will be found among them. And they will hear this treasured saying, welcome, share in my father's kingdom. This is our prayer for them today. And we ask it by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. You may have your seats. Thank you. After the service, those that we are receiving into membership, we will meet at the children a hall at the nursery hall and we will talk more as we uh, also agree on the way forward as members of this church family thank you so much let's appreciate them again and let's appreciate our christian education pastor pastor steve mutura and our pastor terry our children pastor also let's give them a hand clap Thank you, thank you so much. That is it. The church of Jesus Christ is a family and it grows. Just like our biological families grow, either because children are born there or relatives come and stay with us, the church is a family. And we really appreciate that God is growing Sitam Karen. Now, today, uh, our senior pastor is not with us because he has traveled, he's out of the country, uh, doing what must be done, and uh, taking some study leave, but he is okay. And we talked last night, he asked me to greet you. Would you receive his love? He is fine, and he will not be long out of the country. You will be coming, but he loves you. And he was just fighting out whether you are doing well. And I told him that you are okay. Are you not okay? You are okay. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. And today we also have a very special guest. Not that he is a guest, but he is a member of the family of Karen and of Crisis the Answer Ministries that had gone to do work elsewhere and is back home. This is his home tough. He trained for ministry here was here with his family and it is my greatest honor to introduce to us our speaker reverend anataka mugenyi today yes 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 and with his wife mom lucy anataka as he brings to us the word of god we've been going through the series of family and like just looking at what is god's mind for the family and today as we look at the need for healing and restoration i believe god has a word for every one of us he has spoken to us so clearly in the first service and i know he will do the same once more let us uh, pray for this couple as they minister to us today Father, we thank you for bringing back Reverend Anataka and his family, especially with Mom Lucy. And as they speak your word today, we thank you that you've equipped them and you prepared them. May you use them and our Father that our ears would hear what you're speaking. May our eyes see what you're doing in our midst. And may our hearts understand your want today. We rebuke and pray against every hindrance to the entrance of your word. The chaos and the, and the confusions and the mumbling, the grumbling, the concerns and the worries of this life that make your word not make sense to us. We disassociate ourselves from them. And we rebuke them. We ask that they be silenced, the noises that are so loud, so that we can hear you, our Father and our God. This is our prayer we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you. Let's Thank appreciate you. Reverend Josephine, uh, Deputy Senior Pastor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, we greet you all in the name of Jesus. Yes. Okay, we wave it because now I cannot get everybody, you know, this is my home, eh? this is a homecoming. I feel good. Yes, I miss this white pulpit. Yes, I like this. Eh? I like uh, this place was good. You know, one day, one pastor was here and they wanted to climb always by this place. And uh, one of the members said, where? Wachana, kupandapanda kwa madabau na jiambai. So I love this place good discipline and I like I've seen uh, the stairs are put there we're so glad to be here I'm so excited yeah I, I never knew 
I was being prepared here to go to Kisumu. In fact, when I went for the interview, they told me, Pastor Nataka, are you willing to go to UK? I said, yes, UK, United Kingdom. <laughs> it was Kisumu, United Kisumu. <laughs> Thank you. Before I proceed, allow Lucy to greet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Praise the Lord, church. Like my husband has said, we are feeling so much at home because 13 years ago, the Lord sent us to Karen and we fellowshiped and uh, worked here in the church for five years. And it was such a blessing to be here. Our children who are then young have grown. Thank you because you played a big role, Sitam Karen, in our lives and even in our children's lives. Because you prayed for them. And now they are young adults. When they heard that we were coming here, they sent greetings and said, greet the people in Karen and we love them. Thank you. Amen. So we thank God for what he has done because after that we went to um, the western region of Kenya and for seven and a half years we have served the Lord there. So it is a great privilege I say every day to have the opportunity to serve God because that is why we exist. And so today we are back here in Karen at least for this Sunday together with the family that we love so much. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord bless us as we worship together. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Man, man, what a good time. You know, when you send us to uh, Kisumu, uh, we thank the Lord because just we, we were there, we were able to start Sitam Kisi. There were a group of people coming from Kisi to Kisumu. So we said, no, we start Sitam Kisi. Kisi. And we are so grateful that church is having over 500 people. That's, that's a doing of the Lord. And if you had not released me to go to UK, that thing would have not happened by that time. Then we said uh, last year, you know, two years ago, we said, no, let's start preparing uh, a Kericho to have a church. We started slowly there were a number of people coming from Kericho. We said, no, you guys, start something in Kericho. And uh, now we have a Sitam Kericho. Yeah. And then we said, no, 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 that's not enough. If we leave Kakamega, we'll be in the town, in a problem. That's Mulembe land there. Eh? So let's have something in Kakamega. And so we were able to start a fellowship. Now it's Sitam uh, 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 Sitam Kakamega. But we said that's not enough. Let's go a little bit in Migori, in the border, so that we have a fellowship there. We have a fellowship already in, a, in, a, in Migori. Very soon they will grow. They are big, they're big, you know. They meet on Sunday as well. Then we said, no, it will be unfair if we forget Kitale. Let's go and see the governor. Went all the way to Kitale. Uh, Governor Haemba say we need to start Sitam, um, Sitam Kitale. And they have a fellowship already. Very soon it will go to become a, uh, a, a, an assembly as well. So that's your work. God bless you. God bless Sitam. We are so grateful for the overseer, Reverend Obara and Agnes, and the pastoral team, Reverend Josephine, and all the team here and the leadership team i like the elders and the deacons the hod i'm so excited i even want just to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and that's all otherwise anyway may god bless you all amen look good to be here today i want to touch on restoration because we've been on the family track and a and I'm so happy also to see Justice Musinga. Good to see you and uh, Mama Mwende. Good to see. Thank you. Restoration. I like that topic. But I will concentrate today on uh, 
what is restoration is an action of returning something to a former state or owner, to a place of condition. Restoring something back to the original blueprint. That's, that's in a nutshell, the meaning. In, in a biblical meaning, the biblical meaning of the word restoration is, is to receive back what you have lost in a better state again. Or you receive it in an improved state. So that means the final state is greater than the original condition. That is restoration. It is both in physical and also in the spiritual realm. Restoration in the physical, restoration in the spiritual realm as well. And so, my text will go in the book of uh, Job chapter 42. That's where we will have our reading. Job 42, 10 to 7. You know the text. And uh, if, if, if my friend is able to project it for us, to help us, yeah, we, we could read it all together. Job 42, 10 to 17. That is the text. And as we continue, they continue working. Restoration and healing. In the Bible, restoration depends on many things, but the two very important things things you can know is the integrity of God. That means God, what God says he will do, he will do it. He is faithful. His word is a bond. The promises that are here, he will fulfill. That God will not lie. No. That's integrity of God. Secondly, his ability, he is able to do great things in our lives. To restore, to heal, to mend, to correct. And that is key word for you. If, if you forget everything, don't forget that. The integrity of God and the ability of God will keep you going wherever God sends you. Shall we all stand and read this text together? Please, allow us to read the text together. After Job, because that's the summary of what we'll put here. After Job, together, after Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. Let's continue up to the end. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted and consoled him over all the trouble the Lord had brought on him. And each one gave him a piece of silver, gold of ring. The Lord blessed the later part of Job's life more than the former part. He had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand of doki. And he also had seven sons and had three daughters. The first daughter he named Jemima, the second Kezir, and the third Kereth Apuch. Nowhere in all the land where they found women as beautiful as Job's daughters. And their father granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years. He saw his children and the children to the fourth generation. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus. May you see your children, the children of your children, in the name of Jesus, 
Can I hear amen for that? May you give as well inheritance to your daughters. That's what Job did. Amen. May you have a beautiful, beautiful children in the name of Jesus. That's what God did to him. And may God bless you all. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Beautiful text. Look at the story of Job. If you look at the story of Job from chapter 1 of the book of Job, it is a painful situation. He, he is in pain. He has lost everything. Chapter 1, chapter 2 is a pain in his life. Chapter 3 is not good. Chapter 11, oh no, the friends came. They said, Job, you could have been seen again as God. Condemnation. It's not good. His life is not okay there. Chapter 40. Chapter 42. Tell your neighbor chapter 42. God turned around this situation. Amen. I don't know if you have ever experienced your chapter 42. That is what Job has experienced. In the beginning is so painful. In the beginning is tears. In the beginning is sick. He has lost all his property. But that is not the end. God comes down and turned around his situation. My prayer for you this afternoon is that God restores you back to your original plan in the name of Jesus. Because of his integrity, he can do that. When you talk about uh, restoration, it has a lot of facets. It means as well repairing what is broken. It means rebuilding what was destroyed. It means reconstruct something that has been messed up. Rehabilitate something that is not working well. It means even redecorate. You know, you, you decorate the things again to look nice. That is restoration. Returning something to a satisfactory state. May God return you to satisfactory state for his name's sake. Can I hear a big amen for that? For something to be restored, it must previously have died or been destroyed or wasted away. Our God is God of restoration. He restores the family. God's idea for family is that you experience genuine love, a conditioning love. Thank God for the all of this month. We've been zeroing on the family, the family according to God's design, the family attacked by, by demons, how to save the family from the hands of the enemy. Last, last time I was in Kisumu, I like, that's a true story. We went somewhere in the... In, in a village up there, and one of our members called us. And they said, we need to pray for this family. Guess what is happening in that family? There is, I've never seen such a demon. This demon is just taking milk. When you put a tea in the flask, you come. The milk is gone, the water is remaining on it. I have never seen such a demon in a life. First time for me to see that one. In a kuyo maziwa, in a maji, separate it. It goes to your pocket, it steals your money. In fact, I went up to that week, the following week, I spent the night in one of the hotels. We had our leadership uh, retreat. My wallet disappeared as well. I said, it could be these ones here. But we went to that home and we attacked that spirit. It was impoverishing the family. The family became poor and the poorer and the poorer. So we spoke, we smashed that spirit. 
we rundo rundo. They say you cannot operate here. The family was transformed completely. That spirit was out. You know, sometimes our families are attacked by such a spirit. It's not because of you. It could be some people or, or your neighbor is a witch doctor. Yeah, it's not even from your family, your neighbor. So if you don't know well, they will work on you. So it's good for you to be armed, well armed, amen. And by the grace of God, God can restore that grace for you. His idea is that the family is in a good place. Family is much less. Family cannot be replaced. Family is your price less treasure. You've got to contend for your family. You've got to fight for your family. I fight for my wife. I fight for my children. That's how Job did it for his children. Family. If the foundation is destroyed, what will the righteous do? Your family will never leave you. They will stay beside you when you're in a tough moment. You can always count on your parents, on your father, on your siblings. When, especially when things are, get rough, they can come for you. They can travel for you. Family. You've got to fight for your family. The family belongs to God. God is the founder and the initiator of marriages. As we went through out this month, we thank God for the great speakers. They did commendable jobs and they did the excellent work. Mine is just say, let's pray for the family. If there is any other thing I've come to do here is to pray for the family. That our family will be strong. Our children will be strong. Our husband will be strong. Our spouses will be in good health. And we also pray for the widows. Those people who are going through, who are wounded. That God will heal them as well. They are part of the family of God. Widows are family of God. Single mothers are family of God. Single, even single by, by choice, that's a gift of God. And we pray for them all as a family that we will be experiencing God's restoration. God is interested in the family. Children belongs to him. Whenever there is a breakage in a product, the best repair comes from the manufacturer. So God is the manufacturer of the family. He knows how to fix it. He is Mr. Fix it like a doctor mattress. He will fix your marriage. I say he will heal your marriage. He will heal your loneliness. He will heal what is broken. Even when you, maybe you came to this house not talking. You will leave this place talking to your wife. One day, I gave it in the morning service. We were coming to service here. It was a Holy Communion Sunday. That early morning, I told my wife, normally I wake up very early, around 5 o'clock, so that by 7 we are ready. So that day, I woke up. I was ready to rush to Karen. It's a holy communion service. Underline holy. Holy. Now what happened before that holy communion? I just hooted. Because she was not coming quickly from the house. My hands went on hooting. So I waited for 15 minutes. She's not coming. I said, what is wrong with the, my wife? I said, allow me to go and check on her. I waited. 15. I went. I said, honey, you know, it's Holy Communion service. Why can't we uh, go? She said, she went to Peke Akobasi. I said, now. 
when I reach here, all oh, these people will ask me, how is Lucy? Where is he? And they, I cannot lie. And then they see me a pastor. Reverend Kibudu will, what will I say? Attack on the family. By hooting. The sin of hooting. Maybe you're here, you've been doing that all the time. I pray from today, may God forgive you in the name of Jesus. So, then I said, the only thing I can do is just apologize. Men should apologize. I just say, honey, I am sorry. I'm sorry. She said, what did you do? <laughs> I said, no, I'm sorry. I am sorry you know what I've done. So I said, and then she told me, sin no more. <laughs> sin no more. So, after that, she agreed and we came to the service. It would have been hard for me to come here in the Holy Communion. Attack on the institution. But then I told her, you know, the devil, the devil ate at my finger. So I had the hood that without <laughs> May the devil not touch your finger in the name of Jesus. Because it affects the relationship. Relationship is affected. But God is the repair. Is the repair. God is the restorer. Or even a broken relationship. He, this, the family unit belongs to him. He will heal. He will give it a, a new shape. Let no devil lie to you. God is able to restore that which you have lost. He is able. So, if we go to our text, we see briefly, and then we're going to pray. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 verse 3 says, The Almighty God will surely restore all we lost. Surely he will restore all those breakage in your relationship. He will restore that relationship. He will give it a new shape. Can I hear a big amen for that? The Jeremiah 30, 17 said, For I will restore thee, I will heal thee of thy wounds. Corona left wounds to many people. Maybe your relationship went sore and, and wounds, you are wounded. I'm talking to someone who's wounded today here. There is hope for you. That wound can be healed. Or maybe your, your husband left, Ali left. God can heal you as well. People were always left in a quenda. But God say, I will heal the wound. They call you an outcast. I will heal. It doesn't matter what people have said. Or you will amount to nothing. Psalm 23 said, he restores my soul. May God restore your soul. May God lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. That's restoration. Restore you. I see God restoring someone in his house. I, 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 I am feeling in my spirit someone is being changed. You don't need the altar call to come in front here. Right where you are, change is taking in your spirit. Forgiveness is taking place. Thank you, Lord. Rebo Shikayaba Santa. Yes, the Lord is able to deliver us from our troubles and the problems. He is able. Nothing is impossible for God. When things, things you said it is impossible, that relationship cannot be mended. It can be mended in the name of Jesus. He is the Mr. Fix It. Fix it for you. Fix it for me. 
fix it for you. Heal the wounded heart. My prayer is that you experience total restoration. May, you res may we experience total restoration. And for that to take place, we must be patient and we must be submissive to our God. Patient. Patient. Even for those who are married now, patient. And sometimes we, when we disagree, hotly in home, you just pack your things. Don't be packing things. Stay there. My wife told me, me, I'm not leaving this house. I said, yes, me too. I will not leave this house. <laughs> we'll stay in this house. If you go to Moranga, we are going together. Then we reach there, we come back together. So that is our policy in the house. And then we talk. Even if I'm quiet, I will talk. Even if she's not talking to me, I'll wait. I will talk. So that's the policy. Hakuna kuenda. Tuende pamoja, turudi pamoja. That's a policy in the house. You can make that your policy as well. Yeah, instead of packing things that, hey, he's not a devil. He's just the devil is the one attacking your marriage. That's what my sister, my younger sister was telling me. My husband, that's a devil. Devil, Kabisa. Because how did you manage to, to be married to a devil? <laughs> that means you, you have the same language. So, <laughs> our God is, <laughs> is a good God. But he will restore even that one. He restores that. I look at the job. Let's go quickly to job and then we wrap it up and I'll call it a day. Jobs, in job the one, we see a lot of things. Job was the greatest of all the people of the East. He was a God-fearing man. A wealthy, God-fearing man. You know, you can be wealthy and fear God as well. That is job. I, I, I look at his... His net worth today. I've been looking in the news. Everyone is declaring their wealth. They see a Simeona. Yes. Mine is this. Asla Nation, you know. So that was Asla Nation. So let me declare Job, Job's net. Mine I cannot declare now here, but I'll come another time. Because I'm not preaching on myself is a job. Job's net is a he, to, for today, he, he possess, his possession was, uh, he was about uh, 61 million U.S. dollar. That was the, the value of his animal only. That was huge, man. For our money here is 6.7 billion net. He lost all these things. I am not Putting the value for the children. That one you can't put. What about the property he had? It was more. And he lost all these things. At a click of eyes. You can lose things anytime. If you are not grounded in God. You can even go sick, depressed. You can't come to church. You, you refuse. You, you hate everybody. You lost everything. Seven sons, three daughters, 7,000 sheep, 300 camels, five yokes of oxen, five fim A, in a nyingi san. Very large household. Vanished in a click of time. Put your trust in God. I like this man. He never, he never left God. He said somewhere in 1925, he said, Lord, even if you kill me, I will still put my trust in you. Mimi siku left God. Pain was so much. But I like 42. 42 is my best. <laughs> May your 42 come quickly, as quick as possible. Hallelujah. God restored him. God restored. In fact, 
uh, if you look down, the end of his, his life is glamorous ending of the pain, anguish, and suffering of Job in triumphant and celebratory atmosphere. Everything has come back. Wow. Full restoration. May you receive a full restoration in the name of Jesus. As you obey the voice of God, he will come down for you. He will release his word that you may get direction. Yes. God restore everything to Job. God vindicates everything that is connected to Job. May God vindicate you in the name of Jesus. There are things you don't need to vindicate. Ask, let God vindicate your curse. God bless the job with, with overflowing provision. May God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. God restored his intimacy, his relationship with God, with people, with relationship, with the friends. May God restore your relationship with your brothers, your sister, your sibling. Amen. Sometimes it's hard to work with the sibling. I remember one of my siblings, I, I, had, I had managed to buy, you know, my cows, eh, 15 cows. That one, during our time, we, we could work on that. So they, they sucked all those 15 cows. I was mad. My brothers, your brother can work on your thing. But God can restore that as well. May God restore what you lost. May God restore your property. May God restore your inheritance. May God restore what you have lost in the past year. May it be restored back to you in the name of Jesus. God is in the business of restoring. I look at four things because of time. God restored his relationship and the family. That's the first thing God restored. Job's friends came back to him. He prayed for them. Now you need to pray for those brothers who have worked on you. Pray for them. At the moon, we need our pender too. Asante. Atakama ni mchungu. We need my brother. Asante sana. Relationship back to God. Restore your relationship in the family. They helped Job. God restored Everything, his marriage, his relationship. Secondly, God restored his health. His health had deteriorated. God restore that health. May your health be re restored in the name of Jesus. Those attacks we are getting, those uh, heart, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, back problem, knee problems. May it be healed in the name of Jesus. Fibroid, be healed in the name of Jesus. Restoration of your divine health. God restored. You're a candidate of God's restoration. In this house, God is here. The Holy Spirit is here. He can restore you. His health was restored. Thirdly, his fortune his fortunes and the wealth were restored. Though the beginning was painful, but the latter end was great. May your end be great in the name of Jesus. Let's not concentrate much on the beginning. It's okay to concentrate, but look at the big picture where God is taking you. I look at the life of Joseph. If you look, you see Joseph in the pit, you'll not think that's a prime minister. But that is not the end. Your situation where you are is not the end. God will change it for you. Bible said God restored the wealth and the possession of Job. He gave him double portion of all he had before. May God give you double portion. Now I like that. The other in Nigeria was a Jesus. Jesus is the mighty. Jesus give me double, double, double. That's it. It's from here. May you receive double portion. Of good thing. Okay, I'm not saying you receive double portion when you are doing problem. It can come back to you tough. But God gave 
double, double portion to him of all he had before. He restored his wealth. May God restore your wealth in Jesus' name. I like that. That's a Job 14, 42, 12. God restore your inheritance, your land, your business, your finances. Fourth, God restored his dignity. I like that point. May your dignity be restored in the name of Jesus. I like that point because I experienced that a few months ago. I was going to Kisumu and uh, I came for a wedding in, Limu, in Limuru. By the time I was coming, it was so late. I had to fly back to Kisumu. And uh, I asked, my, I told my wife, just rush me quickly. I'm late. I'm, you know, by the time I was reaching to the airport, it was, oh, it was late. They had already closed the counter. My name has been called, Anataka, please report with your ID to... To, to the counter with the, Anataka Mugeni, where are you? The plane is almost doing roo, 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 Anataka. So, but the good thing is, I was, I had put a good clothes, suit. You know, you better put a good suit. <laughs> when you are going in the public domain, eh? You, you know, when I just, but I, I just, but on the way I was praying, God, stop Jumbo jet in the pilot. Let them not go at hill. I reach there. I'm preaching tomorrow in Kisum. With God, all things are possible. So those things, you can stop them. So by the time I reach there, get everyone who's saying, oh, yes. You mean calling, calling you Mweshimiwa is something good? Mweshimiwa. No, no, just Pass. I was not even checked at the door of Yato. No. I said, Peter, Peter, Mweshimiwa, they are waiting for you. You know, the Mweshimiwa in me started coming. I said, oh, oh, my God. So I came. I came to the second place. They said, Toa, Kila, Kitu, Toa, Suit, Toa, Belt, Toa, Viap. Now, there they say, Enda, Peter, Peter, Mweshimiwa, Peter. So I went, I went. And then the, the entrance, the way, I went to the plane. The pilot was just waiting for Mweshimiwa. <laughs> May you be a Mweshimiwa in the name of Jesus. That's dignity. May God restore your dignity. In every place you go, may your dignity be restored. And everybody was looking at me, who is this man? Now that is contrary to the one of my wife. My wife was traveling to Kampala. I think it was the first time for her to fly that long place. So she boarded the plane. She went immediately to the business class and she sat. <laughs> anyway, we will talk about that another day. <laughs> May God restore your dignity. May God restore your dignity. It was good, but until really she saw, there's nobody in this uh, cabin. It's only me. Kumbe, she, she had booked the economy, but she saw in uh, she she ate all the food in uh, the business. May you move to the business class in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may God restore your dignity. Wow, let me close here. Because of time, <laughs> like that, may God restore. May you be in a plenty. May God satisfy you. May God deal with you wondrously. May you not be put to shame. May God restore the years that the swarm locusts have eaten. Whatever your loss be, let it come back to you. May your project, whatever, your promotion come back to you. Whatever you have lost, let it come back in the name of Jesus. As you go for that uh, uh, panel interview, may, may God perform a miracle. And may he heal your family. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. That's where I normally like to speak in tongues. But anyway, thank you.
May God restore your family. That's the message today. Let's close it with this. We serve God of restoration. Your, less, your lost treasures, your stolen joy, the destroyed family. I'm aware sometimes we go through issues. The lost jobs, the unfulfilled dream. You knew by this time you'll be there. The aborted plan. May God bring it back again to you. May the joy of salvation. May God restore the joy of our salvation. This afternoon, I want to pray. And we close this. I think all of us need prayer. Even me, I need prayer. And I want to pray with us. Maybe you're here. Let's bow our head and pray. As we close this service. God restored. If God restored. Job. He can restore you as well. God restored the losses of Ruth. That's another example. God restored. The husband died. And God just worked it out. And. She became in the lineage of Jesus. That's restoration. Better than where it was found. Better in your career. Better in your life. Better in your health. God is still on the throne. Remember, remember, he's God's integrity. Remember, God is able. He's able to do it exceedingly, abundantly, Above all we can ask. His presence is here. He is here in this house. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to trust you because I've seen God doing great things in my life and in the life of my family and my friends as my acquaintances. I've seen testimony, testimony, and the testimony. And today I want us to pray that God will restore you fully. You just say fully. Repair me fully. Solve this problem permanently. I don't want a recurrent problem. Solve it for me, God. Even in my family, solve it. I want a fully restoration. And if that is you in whichever area, as we mention, I'd like you to raise your hands. Your hand and then we're going to pray with you. Just put your hands up if that's your prayer. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God, it's just full restoration. Repackage me again. Correct my life. If it is not working, let it work from today. If things, you know, we may say, you know, people have bewitched us. Even that witchcraft will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We smash it because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Witchcraft will not destroy our marriage. Even though they are there, they are inferior. Yeah. They cannot match what God can do in our lives. We serve a mighty God, a powerful God, a miracle working God, a lifter up of our soul, a promise keeper. Yeah. God is a promise keeper. He will. It does matter if how long it, it has taken. Even your delay is not that God has not answered. Even that delay, God will turn it around. Yes. That delay could be between chapter, Job chapter 1 and 2, and the remaining chapters. But the end is greater, is better, is mighty. Thank you. I also want to pray for, maybe you're here, you are wounded. You are wounded in the family. You are wounded. You are wounded. Things are not okay in your life. You've been so much disappointed many times. I want to pray for your healing as well today. May you be healed as well today. Even a relationship. Or maybe your in-laws have taken your inheritance when your husband passed on. Yes, they've, they've gone with all your things but today is the day we want that thing to be back back to God 
back to us. That's a back to what is yours. Thank you. I would like us to those who raise their hands just stand when the choir is ministering to us. He is here. And then we're going to pray all together. There is yes a presence in the house. Hallelujah. You can stand. Those who have raised their hand, he is here. God is here. Jesus is here. Holy Spirit here in the current. This is his. Hallelujah. 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 Anointing Sweet anointing. You are wounded. You are sick. Someone is sick in the family. Someone is sick at home. We want healing today. We want it healing. Come and lay down yes, Lord. The burdens you have Thank carried. you, Lord. Hallelujah. For in the Thank you, Jesus. God is here. The river sweet. Hallelujah. There is a steel in the atmosphere. That's your prayer today. That is you. God is you. are talk to God. Say, God, this is my burden. This is the word I need from you. Just talk to him right where you are. Say, God, this is what I need today. I need my miracle today. I need my healing today. I need a full restoration in the name of Jesus. Just talk to him. Talk to your God. Talk to your Father. Say, God, I'm here. I am here. I'm not leaving this house without a breakthrough. I am not leaving this 
house today until you touch me until you touch my family until you touch my marriage until you touch my husband until you touch my wife until you touch my wife my father in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, we send the word of healing today. Healing today. Healing right now. Healing right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Total healing. Total healing, total healing, total healing in the name of Jesus. Total healing in the name of Jesus. Total healing right now. You are God of right now. You are God of right now. You are God of right now. You are a miracle working God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. You are God of right now. You heal. You change situation. You transform things. You change it again. Even beyond uh, our thought, God. You can do Im immeasurably beyond what we think, God. Let the healing power flow in his house. Let the healing power flow at home. Let the healing power flow in our houses. Flow in our relationship. Flow of our children. Flow of our siblings. Flow in our family we break down every word every negative word spoken of our lives every word which has a boot of our head we dismantle them in the name of Jesus we break every curses of our lives we destroy the works of the enemy we destroy the chronic diseases we come against the spirit of cancer in the name of Jesus we come against the spirit of high blood pressure low blood pressure back problem kidney problem fibroid problem we destroy HIV AIDS in any problem in the name of Jesus May the healing power flow. May the power of the Holy Spirit move, 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 move in this house. Move at home. Move as we leave this place. Move. Holy Ghost, move. Move. Do wonders. Do great things. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Rekaya basanta. Kere basanta ya babu. Kuri bakasanto riba. May you be healed. May your house all be healed. May your relationship be healed. May your family be healed. May you, may you get a spirit of forgiveness. Whatever has happened, may God solve this problem permanently. May God repackage you. May God restore what you have lost. Restoration is your portion today. May restoration power locate you today. Right where you are. Right where you are. May he restore what you have what the enemy has stolen from you father thank you thank you lord father we pray for those who are wounded the singles i take this opportunity to pray for the widows the single mothers who have raised the children alone father may you strengthen them may you wipe their tears and their strength in Isaac. may you give them a, a song May they sing a song of victory. God of restoration. The widowers. You have people who are trusting you for the fruit of womb. In this house today, I pray in the name of Jesus. You will visit them and visit them in a way they've never seen. We break the spirit of barrenness. In the name of Jesus. We break the spirit. We break the spirit in the name of Jesus. Release. Babies in the family. 
Thank you. For those who are trusting you for marriage, I break that sack of delay in the name of Jesus. Sack of delay, be gone in the name of Jesus. Restore their hope. And surprise them. You're God of surprise. You're God of surprise. Nothing is impossible for you. A relationship that has swore, the relationship that are not okay, mend them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, today. You heal every family represented here. Every son, every brother, every mother, every husband, every child, every baby. May you touch us afresh in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not happening, let it happen from now. Beyond our control, God. We thank you, Lord. Manifest your power as we close this service today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for sitting on Karen. Before I close this service, it will be good for us to, if you're here, you have not yet accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. You will miss all this grace of restoration. It's only by God's grace you'll benefit. But if you can make God your Lord and the Savior, you can partake of this grace as well. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. If you are here, just make this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I have made it my mind to follow you for the rest of my life. Forgive me for what I've done in the past. Today, I belong to you. I've made up my mind. I am your child. I give you glory. If you made this prayer seriously, he has entered in your house. You'll see the pastors, the leadership here. They will be able to help you. Father, we reverse the spirit of poverty over your people. We reverse the spirit of sickness to divine health. We reverse the spirit of failure in the marriage to success. We declare that your people will be blessed in the city. Be blessed in Karen. They are blessed with creativity, with good ideas, with good health, with good family, with good friends, with long life. We declare right now, that every negative word, every curse that has been spoken over them is broken in the name of Jesus. We declare whatever they touch, whatever they put their hands on, will prosper, will succeed. They will succeed in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. May God, as we close this, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Let the blind say I can see for what the Lord has done. We thank you and bless you. Bless our ministry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give a hand clap to the Lord. As you stand like this, I'll ask uh, Reverend Josephine to come and bless us. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. This is my home. I am excited to be here. God bless you. Bless you abundantly. May God turn around your fortune. May God heal you. Yes, as you leave this place, may you experience total healing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We worship you, Lord. We honor you. Come on, let us open our mouths. Tell God, thank you for healing. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for hope. Thank you for encouragement. Thank you for breaking the fetters, the shackles, the yokes that bowed our lives. Thank you for healing our marriages. Thank you for healing our relationships. Thank you, Lord, for lifting the bondages that hidden, that hid us from the grace and the mercy of God. Thank you for making the way clear for us. Thank you for removing the darkness. Our Lord, we thank you for removing the leads that covered our lives. We are grateful to you. Thank you for your word that has come with such clarity. Thank you for teaching us from the life of Job that, Lord, you are in the business of restoring and that our children, our wealth, our fortunes, our relationships, our marriages, oh, Lord, what you have trusted us with will be restored as we trust you to do it. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. The glory is the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Reverend Anataka and Mom Lucy, for ministering to us with such clarity. Let's appreciate our speaker today. The Lord be honored. The Lord be honored for using you. Amen. Thank you so much. And as we leave this afternoon, I just want to remind us again that we are having a month of calling others to this same grace that we have been receiving and that we have known as we have come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so please don't rest and think there is somebody that is reaching out to others. It is our time to tag a friend to church. So if you have never invited your neighbor, this is the month to invite your neighbors. If you have never invited your relatives, come on, call them to Karen, especially those who are not born again. Tell them, come to my church. Come and see where I worship. If you have a workmate, if you have somebody, a friend that you know, this is the month of calling a hundred thousand people to the Lord Jesus Christ through Sitam Karen. Can we have faith? Can we trust the Lord through your safari group, through your small women ministry group, through your whatever ministry, through your neighborhood, wherever that God has placed us. Let us call many to receive this life that we are witnesses of. And we will continue to pray on Wednesday. We meet for prayer at 5 a.m. Please get in. Even if you don't receive a new link, the link is recurring. Let's call upon the Lord. He hears and he answers prayer. Those whom we received in membership, remember, we are going to meet with you at the at children hall. Please don't go away. We will give you your membership card there and we will uh, just finalize with you and give you a right hand of fellowship uh, this afternoon after we have left the service. So why don't we just uh, 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 pray together, say the grace together, and you can say the grace to somebody sitting next to you and wish that God will be with them. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you, saints. God bless you. May he shine his way around your life and may your life be never the same again. May you have a very transformative week in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.